In today's video, I'll be discussing TikTok and if it really is a platform you should test and invest in. I'll also speak about my personal experiences using the platform with our clients so you have exactly an understanding of whether it is actually worth it or not. Before we get started, this is Brando. I'm the founder of Brandlux Media, a marketing agency specializing in growing e-commerce brands through paid advertising and UGC content. Before we dive in, I kindly ask you to subscribe and like that button and do all that stuff. Now, is TikTok actually worth it? And I'll give you my personal experience on this. Uh, it's, it's a very uh, important topic to actually touch because I hear a lot of business owners I speaking to dozens of dozens of brands every single month. I notice this, this trend that um, people think that TikTok is the ultimate solution to their problems. And the answer is act absolutely no. It, it, it's not the solution to any problem at all. And what business owners and brands, brand owners in particular, need to really understand is that the whole game stands in the sales process, in your offers, in your marketing, in your backend infrastructures, in your product. Like that's where the actual, you know, machine, you know, that's where it makes a difference. Not TikTok or Facebook or Google. Like those are so, those are only mediums that we use to get results and scale our our, our companies, right? Our brands, but. There's one thing to say. TikTok is definitely a platform that has very, very low costs, meaning that the CPMs are like much lower than Facebook, the cost per clicks are much lower than, than Facebook. And at the same time, because of all of this, um, usually we're, if, if the product is right, and if the product is right, I'm gonna touch base on this in just a second, but if the product is right, it is the right platform to test and launch and, and go for it, right? Some of our clients were seeing very, very high ROAS and it's working very well. For other clients, we're just not seeing any results, any results. So there's two components to, um, to, to test and to understand when it comes to like testing the platform, TikTok. Number one is that if you don't, if you're not organized with UGC stuff, like user generated content, you don't, you don't, it's like, don't even think about doing TikTok because it doesn't actually make sense, okay? You can only do TikTok if you're uh, if you're organized. You have an infrastructure for creatives and specifically UGC content, like the review videos, the unboxing videos, and all that stuff. If you don't have that, don't even look at TikTok. Okay, it it actually doesn't make sense. Number two, and this is the most important thing, is actually making sure that your product is right. So the only way to actually figure that out is actually test the platform. Okay, you test the platform. You see how it rea how your product reacts, but there's one thing that I noticed, and this is super important, that if you have an expensive product, and when I say expensive, I mean over 100 bucks, 85, 80, 90 dollars, that's expensive, quote unquote, expensive for TikTok. Like the TikTok audience, since it's a consumable platform, and you know, if, if somebody sees a $150 product, they're not gonna buy. Right, Facebook is a lot better than this. We've we've tried higher ticket products like a hundred, two hundred dollars, and it works fine. But for TikTok specific, specifically, for one reason or another, if you're selling a, a eighty or you know ninety, one hundred fifty, one hundred twenty-five dollar product, it's just too expensive for the platform. We've tested it with you know, uh, we have in our in our client base we have some skincare brands that really sell like high ticket skincare products and it really didn't work well. And we also, at the same time, we tested it with another brand that was selling like a $25 kit, um, and still skincare, right? So same industry, and it works super well. So for sure, like I've, saw, I've seen this, um, this balance of pricing that goes, like the sweet spot is between 20, 30, maybe $40 maximum, definitely below 50. And if you have the right um, infrastructure for your creatives, then tick, and, and you have a, the right structure when it comes to pricing, then TikTok is absolutely worth to test. Again, if you wanna test it with you know higher ticket products, go ahead, um, your decision. I'm just telling you my experience. The one thing to, to recognize and, and to really understand is that TikTok has a very, very high burn rate. What I mean by burn rate is that whenever you launch an ad, it probably is gonna perform well for one or two weeks and then it's gonna die off. Like the, the, the burn rate of your ads is really, really high. Um, and this is, you know, common for platforms that are emerging. When a platform is em emerging and it gives you very low costs, the burn rate is 
automatically automatically going to be higher. So this is why it is very very important to make sure that you're you're structured, you're well structured and organized with your content creators, with your user generated content, and just with creative in general. So this is my uh, opinion. Touching base on the whole picture, um, there's this misconception once again that TikTok is going to be the solution to your problems. I want to say once again that it's not any solution. It's just a way to optimize your ad spend if your product is even you know a fit for the platform. Remember that your sales process and your product and your marketing and your email marketing and your upselling and your downselling, that is actually the foundation for the business, right? If you don't have that, it's like driving in a Ferrari with a, with a Fiat engine. The Ferrari is the ads because it gives you the opportunity. The Fiat engine is your sales process and your product and your business in general. So if you're seeing problems ac across all of your platforms, then ask yourself a question and think about the internal systems, processes, and strategies that you're utilizing to grow your brand. Think about your product and think about that first, then worry about ads. So this is the end of my rant. Let me know if you have any questions, particular, particularly about TikTok ads or anything related to ads, creative, e-commerce. I'm always available. You can leave comments on YouTube or reach out to me um, in, my, uh, in my social platforms, okay? Let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate your time to your success.